emerging and trending topic is the deployment of UAVs from submarine. We are now on the booth of Israeli company Spare, who recently unveiled the Ninox 103, which is uh, pretty much a tube released from a submarine to launch a UAV. I am with uh, Boaz, business development director of the company. Boaz, good morning. Thanks for welcoming us. Thank you very much and good morning. So, okay, well, can you tell us more about uh, Ninox uh, 103? Yeah, to the best of our knowledge, it's the first one in the world that was actually released from a submarine. We can see it over here, just floating in the water, and this is the actual capsule. It's being released from the submarine, floating automatically, surfacing to the water. This is a smart capsule. It uh, engages all the communication, satellites, etc. Once it is ready, it launches the drone into the air. Everything is done in the capsula and within the capsule. Uh, currently, we have just uh, the visit capability, meaning day and night sensors. It can perform fully automatic uh, mission and then just drop to the sea or go back to where you want it. And it can be also guided by um, command and control and all of that was already done and proven. The submarine can hand over the control of the UAV to special forces on the ground and we would then control the UAV with the tablet? Uh, that can be done also. Basically what we proved right now that we can control it from the submarine. But yes, basically we can give the uh, uh, guidance to any other force that is within the same uh, environment and has the communication since we are basicing everything on a mesh technology. And uh, which kind of missions do you envision for the UAV? ISR, loitering munition? So this is really depends on the customer, the current customer that we have which we cannot elaborate about for reasons you do understand. Uh, they want for ISR, just for ISR. Let's think about it like a very high and long distance periscope. Nowadays, in missions that you need to come close to the shore and see something, your periscope is very limited because it's very low and as much as you have good optics over there, any obstacle would shut it down. Meaning a first line of houses or trees would shut your uh, line of sight. With this, you can go higher. You can go to seven kilometers and even more. So you can see all of that, go back, crash to the sea. Nobody knows you were there and you just start to transmit it not necessarily to the submarine, to anyone who is listening on the same channel. Uh, what's going to be the future? We are dealing also with um, loitering munition for the ground forces. That's the Viper that we are developing currently and in one year would be fully operational. Uh, so we know how to do that just as well. Uh, we, we are able to do it with the 103 just as well but really depends on the customer.